Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over how I prep my cats raw meals. You'll see how I prep for a nine pound cat and the things I will add in for each meal. I like to have a variety of at least two to three cuts or proteins when it comes to my bone-in and organ meats just to give them some variety. So this week I'm using chicken necks, dressed quail, and dressed silky chicken. For organ, I have pork liver and rabbit kidney. And for muscle meats, I try to have at least three to four different proteins, sometimes more. Today I have pork loin, beef heel, chicken gizzards, and beef and chicken hearts. I also got a whole mackerel, so I'm going to add this into a few meals just for some added omega-3s. Tangy does well on around 8% bone, so I cut up the chicken necks in halves and sometimes even thirds on some days. When I have quail, I sometimes give him a whole one, but it's a hit or miss whether he feels like eating it whole, so I decided to separate the parts. Even though I try to stick around 8% bone, some days I give more and some days I give less, depending on the cut. As long as it's balanced over the course of the week, I'm not worried about it. I then move on to organ. Tangy gets around 0.2 ounces of liver and 0.2 ounces of kidney. I weigh out each cut and add it into each bowl. Moving on to the muscle meat, I cut up the beef, pork, hearts, and gizzards to the appropriate size. Tangy likes chunks, but I have to make sure they're small enough to where he won't choke because he often tries to just swallow each piece whole. When adding the remaining muscle meats, I zero out the bowl, then I add in the contents I just put in, and then I add in the muscle meats until the scale reads around 4.3 to 4.5 ounces, which is around 3% of his body weight. Then I cut the mackerel into sections. Each of these pieces are around 1.5 ounces, give or take. Fish does not count into the muscle meat portions. Uh, fish is its own category. I then add in small pieces to two to three of his meals. I don't often do this next part unless I'm meal prepping for travel or if he's being pet sit, but I thought I would show you guys anyways, just in case this is something you were interested in doing so it's less work during feeding time. Every evening, Tangy gets his herbal flea and tick powder, kelp, powdered grain lift muscles, and this week I'm also giving him raw Vita Boost for zinc since I'm out of oysters. They're powdered, so I mix it all in raw goat's yogurt, then pour it in the bowl and freeze. After I finish prepping, I close everything back up and bag the leftover meats. I hand wash the knife and cutting board, then put them in the dishwasher. And I put everything back in the freezer except for his meals for tonight and tomorrow. I make sure to clean all surfaces thoroughly and wipe down with a rag. I hope this video was somewhat helpful for you if you're wanting to start raw feeding and feeling a little intimidated. Some people prep for weeks out, some just a week, and some don't even prep. They just put the meats in the fridge and prep the day of. You'll fall into whatever groove works best for you. If you'd like to learn more about raw feeding, check out these videos on the screen.